Truckers XTV on air. We are now live in three, two, one. Welcome back to another exciting episode of Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney. In the previous episode, we begin of the Rise of Ashes, episode number five, right here, right now, ladies and gentlemen. This is day one of the investigation, or so. And we're gonna go to the High Prosecutor's Office. If you're high for today's episode, make sure that like button sports really appreciated. Now, it's just the beginning of the Rise of Ashes. This is about the about Lana Sky and Emma and Emma Sky. Another turnabout sisters moment. High Prosecutor's Office, room 1202. Why is this? This is kind of room that just screams, I can do the job. Why are we in freaking his his office? Quite a change from your office, really. Thanks. <clears throat> look, look, there's a trophy or something here. What's a K for? A trophy? What? That shield. It really takes real nerve to display stuff like that. Whoever's office this is, he must be a real stuck-up jerk. Mr. Phoenix Wright, you're never tired of prying into other people's business, do you? That voice! L long time you'll see, Edgeworth! Huh? Ah! Mr. Edgeworth! Know him from somewhere? Of course! I'm his biggest fan! My sister introduced us once and. Right! Her sister was the chief prosecutor after all. Well, what brings you here? I'll warn you, I've been known to be a real stuck up jerk. No, did I? I uh, know. It was just Mr. Right here, he. Hey, don't blame me. We're just here to investigate a murder case. Murder. A body was found in this nasty bright red sports car in the parking lot. Hmm? That would be my car. What of it? What? Your car? I'll say one thing. She certainly can scream. Alright then. Edward, my boy. Talk. So, the body was found in your car? Go ahead, say it right. Can we please? You think I did it, don't you? After you went through all the trouble to help me last year, no less. So it is 2017. No, we don't think you did it. I mean, it was my sister who stabbed him. Uh, wait, no, she didn't do it, that, I mean... Wait... So you're the chief prosecutor's little sister, then? Yes, sir. Emma Sky. Uh, nice to meet you again. Now that didn't sound forced at all. Ah, uh, now I remember. You've really grown. I'll admit, it was a surprise to me, too. To think that my own car would become the scene of a murder. More surprising still. Now I'm forced to prove my superior's guilt. I can understand. Wait, what did you say? Lana Sky is the chief prosecutor, the top prosecutor in the district. She can't prosecute herself, so I'll be the prosecutor at the trial tomorrow. You? Mr. Edgeworth? Alrighty then. Edgeworth, talk. To be, to be honest, it's a bit of a miracle I'm still here at all. What do you mean? Rumors. You've heard the rumors about me, haven't you? Miles Edgeworth. It's hard to remember a time when there weren't rumors about this guy. Forgive forging evidence, alleging false testimony, illegal searches, you name it. Thanks to Thanks to you, my innocence was established in the trial at the end of last year. However, there are some who say I'm the one responsible for the current incident. What? That's crazy! <laughs> Some people need very little excuse to think ill of others. It's a fact of life, impossible to stop. But... Some of them even go so far as to present me with toys like this. They think it's funny. Toys? 
That bronze shield? There's got to be a story behind that one. Alrighty then. Do we gotta investigate that as well? Trade Prosecutor Sky. Yes, we first worked together on a case two years ago. It was my first big case. That's right, I remember. Two years ago. I wasn't even a lawyer yet. Since then, I always felt that she was looking out for me. It appears I was mistaken. Mistaken? Why? I mean, I know she's not the warmest person, but I'm sure she felt some responsibility for you. Glenn, why? Why did she stab someone in the truck of my trunk of my car? Not only that, she stabbed them with my knife. Great, that's worse. Mr. Edgeworth, your knife was the murder weapon? To be specific, it was the knife kept in the toolbox in the trunk of my car. Man, I haven't even seen the face of the freaking murder guy yet, yeah, detective. Oh wait, we only see like a, his ID badge, but not his full face. Edgeworth? What? Are you sure you didn't do it? Come on, can he take a joke? You have a strange sense of humor, Mr. Wright. What was the S button? I forgot. Okay, so... Since we, we can't do much, we have to examine that shield to our left, which I just barely noticed just now. If we can do something about this mouse, that'd be great. I've been wondering, what the heck is this? It has a big K on it. A prosecutor's. Not a prosecutor's, I bet. What's that? It's the king of prosecutor's trophy. King of prosecutors? It's a great honor. They send that shield to the best prosecutors each year. What? So? So that K. I don't know who was previous, but okay. So that K. That's. K stands for a king? Yeah, you got a problem with that? I didn't design the thing. King of prosecutors? Kind of like employee of the month, only better. King of prosecutors. Why do I feel like the K means something else? I'm guessing we have to investigate like the entire room, and if we can get this mouse to move, that'd be great. But other than that, we have to investigate this entire this entire room in order to proceed on. I have no idea what to examine, but we'll try to do our best as we can examine. A work desk. It's quite titty as one might expect. What a nice desk. Easy to use and easy on the eyes. It's polished so well I can see my own reflection. Can we please? Gum shoes. Strange. Why did I just picture Dickens of Gumshoe? Maybe I'll take that name plaque as a souvenir. Don't. He'll sue you. What name plaque? I don't even see much! Alrighty then. Why do you have a freaking frame of your cloak? Wow, that jacket is even lacier than his usual ones. This must be his lucky trial jacket. Lucky jacket? Right. I've never seen him wear it. I'm sure there's a story behind why it's in frame. Maybe I'll be naughty and take a picture. She's getting way too excited about this. Alrighty then. Why am I examining like the use of stuff? Whoa, these are all case files. They're stacked up to the ceiling. There's even a ladder. Odd. I thought Edward wasn't good with heights. He must have someone get it them for him. Gum shoes again. Strange. Why did I just picture detective gun shoes? Again! He must study these case reports so closely, he's so cool. I'm guessing Gumshoe's not in the storyline? You wouldn't say that if you saw him sweating bullets up on that ladder. Alrighty then, chess pieces? Examine. Hey, a chessboard! What's the S board? I forgot what it does. I'm not too up on my chest, but it looks like a blues in a bit of a tight spot. The red knights have surrounded the blue pond. All I see is red. Huh? 
Those horses are mounted knights. Their swords have really sharp edges. And check out the poor pawn. His kind of head is kind of spiky. Oh no. Kind of reminds me of you. Mr. Edgers must be an avid chess player. What's wrong, Mr. Wright? Edgers? Surrounding a pawn with spiky hair? Nah, it's nothing. Really? No, that's just wrong. He's a vendetta now. Examine. Okay, this is something we already went over. I, I, uh, I did something. I know this is an emulator. I know I can fast forward this. What was the button again? What else am I supposed to investigate? My, my, what an amazing bouquet. Just right for Mr. Edgeworth. No kidding. Hey, there's a card on it. Back from the dead. Wendy. Wendy? I heard that name somewhere before. Who's Wendy? And beside it, a giant steel samurai. Wow, I want one. Huh? There's something written on the bottom of this foot. Between a rock and a hard place. Wendy. Who's Wendy? Is she Mr. Edgeworth's fiance? Oh, now I remember. Um, I don't think so. Oh, now I remember who that was. Whoa! Uh, what a view! It must be nice to have an office on the 12th floor. Yes, you would feel important. Incident incidentally, were you to jump out this window, the time until impact with the ground would be. Got it. Approximately 3.23 seconds. That's handy to know. Okay, I went through like every single thing that I could think of besides this. What's this? What a pretty tea set. I go more for the instant tea bags myself. Amazing! The drawer below is filled with packets of tea leaves. They're all sorted by place of origin and flavor. Look at this royal blend! What an exquisitely splendid concoction! There is such a thing as taking a hobby too far. Okay, I looked like. What else is there? It looks like I'll be. Let's talk to Edgeworth. No, wait, present? Do I have anything? Maybe this? Say, Edgeworth, I was wondering about this. Mr. Wright! Huh? What? Are you sure you should be showing that to Mr. Edgeworth? Oh yeah, he'll take it for sure, won't he? I mean, what other option is there? We have to be over here. If she sighs any deeper, I'm going to start getting depressed. But, I mean, what else do we have to do? We have to show something. The murder weapon found in Edward's toolbox. Traces of victim's blood. Okay. Is there anything else that I have to do right now? Cause I like went through every single detail under 13 minutes. So in other words, you're the best of the best this year, huh? You could take that foolish grin elsewhere, right? I lost a day of work to receive that travesty. Huh? Why is that? I had to go to the police department ceremony to receive that broken shield. Police department? Yes, right next to the police station downtown. You've been there, correct? Where Detective Gumshoe works? Yeah. Um, I was wondering something about your shield. Why is it broken? What does it matter? I've got more important things to worry about. Oh, right. He doesn't seem too concerned about this award, for better or for worse. Does it really say King? Yesterday was a very busy day for the prosecutor's office. Maybe we should ask him more about yesterday. Alrighty then. Finally, we get some answers. I've been wasting like 13 minutes of this LP without trying to go. Could you tell me more about yesterday, the day of the murder? Yesterday was the annual cleaning day at the prosecutor's office. Cleaning day? Working with the police department, we sort sort and file all evidence for solved cases. We call it evidence transferal. Wiping your hands of all cases, in other words? Oh, and another thing. 
a ceremony was held at the police department. There is an annual review and awards for outstanding police officers and prosecutors. And that's when you got, and that's when you got that shield. I was at the police department yesterday afternoon. I got back here at 512. That's very precise. People like myself and Mr. Andrew pride ourselves on our precision, Mr. Wright. No, I place little faith in my memory. The only thing I trust is solid evidence. Parking stuff. This is the parking style from the underground lot. The murder took place around 5.15. So the murder happened right after you got back. What right? I appreciate it if you direct the suspicions glare elsewhere. Um... Excuse me, but is Mr. Edgeworth uh, anywhere on the premises? I'm Edgeworth. What is it? I'm here, sir, at the request of the chief. Sir, I've got your report, sir! Report? What? Did you find new evidence in the case against Chief Prosecutor Sky? I don't like the way the conversation is going at all. Ah, uh, Sky, sir! No, sir! Uh, no, name of that kind, sir! Not in, the, not in this report, sir! I think I just heard Edward's lid blow. Mr. Edward's lid isn't on very tight, is it? I made a clear request to the police department, did I not? I need to focus on the trial tomorrow, so don't bring me anything unrelated. Sir, but sir! I'm just following orders, sir! They told me to bring this to you! I wasn't aware of the particulars of your arrangement! Give me your name! Uh, yes, yes, sir! Mickens, sir! Officer Minkins! Minkins, whatever. Right, Officer Minkins. Take your report and leave. And good luck with that race next month. But sir, I didn't know. Poor guy. Looks like he was absent on the day they gave out brains and good luck. Right. Yes, sir? Ugh, he caught me off guard. As you could see, I'm busy. You may leave now. Let's do what he says, Mr. Wright. The victim was a detective from the same department as the patrolman just now. Go down to the police department. You can ask more there. Uh, thanks. He seems to have finally calmed down at least. We wasted like 20 minutes. Most of them was just investigating his room. Alrighty then, move. Underground parking lot. Move. Police department. Every 20 seconds, why is that thing their mascot? I'll never understand. Hugh, we're finally here. Why would they put the detective so far away from the prosecutor's office? That took almost 30 minutes by taxi, and traffic wasn't even that bad. Can we please, Mouse? This is my first time to the police department, actually. Hold on, what's that? I question their mascot as well. Disturbing. Why does it undulate like that? Oh wait, I know. This is the blue badger. How is this a badger? They're trying to make him the police mascot. Wow, Mr. Wright, you know a lot about the police department. Still, he does seem familiar somehow. Forget the blue badger. Who's that next to him? Someone appears to be dancing with the blue badger. Uh-oh, he knows me. He sure is running fast over here. Fast. Hey, pal, what are you doing here? That's my line, Detective Gumshoe. Specifically, why were you dancing over there? What? Uh, well... Well, at least he doesn't seem to be busy. This is our chance to get information. Hey, I'll have you know I'm a very busy man, pal. Right. Alright then. Gumshoes? Let's talk. I'll give you one word of advice, pal. Can we please? You better not agree to defend the suspect in this case. Why not? Huh? Well, it's just that the chief prosecutor has confessed to the crime. She says she saw a detective to the prosecutor's office and she killed him. That's the, that's the detective? But what if she's not telling the truth? 
Yes, well, no. Come on, pal, there's plenty of evidence against her. But what if the evidence was faked? Hey, pal, can I speak to you for a second? Huh? Me? Why is this little girl so peeve at me? She's a relative of the suspect, Lana Sky's sister. Whoa, the chief prosecutor's little sister? Just please investigate this case carefully, okay? Scientifically? Can we please? What's the S button? Yes, sir. Oh, by the way, you might want to keep your voices down. You don't want to be overheard using words like fake. Huh? It's just, it's a sensitive issue with us these days. Investigation. So, what are you doing here, Detective Gumshoe? Me? Oh, well, nothing really. They kicked me out of the criminal affairs. Detective Gumshoe? What did you do this time? What do you mean this time? Man, what happened? I know things are busy right now. I mean, with my sister's case and all. It's true, we've never had a chief prosecutor murder anyone before. Only the highest ranked people are being let into criminal affairs now. The lowest ranking guys in there is our chief of detectives. They're not letting any of us ranked and filed detectives in at all. That's with Marshall. None of you? I know this is an appointed trial, but, 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 of course. but isn't that a little odd? So anyway, I thought I'd spend the day getting the badger dance down, Pat. Um, isn't there anything else you could be doing? The chief of police himself is directing the investigation, pal. And the officer Marshall was assigned to the underground parking lot. Officer Marshall? Now that I think about it, Emma did seem to know that guy, that Marshall guy. A patrolman in charge of the crime scene is unheard of, pal. Alrighty then. Um, all I can do now is just present him to something what he can know. What do you know about those parking stuff? Found in Mr. Edwards' car. Whoa, found in Mr. Edwards' car? Stab for the Mr. Edwards' knife, huh? What would drive Chief Buster Scott to do such a thing? Wait, I didn't mean. I mean, sure, of course, someone else really did it. Someone who must have, um. Someone who must have, uh, grudge against Mr. Edwards. Car and the knife do seem a little too well organized to be coincidence. Poor Mr. Edgeworth, what could have happened? We have to find a little more about what's going on with Edgeworth. Alright uh, then. What do you know about this knife? Oh wait, that would be the same thing no matter what. Alright, that's it! That's the King of Prosecutors, a war that Mr. Edgeworth got yesterday. Were you at the award ceremony, Detective Gumshoe? Of course, pal. I got an award for diligence myself. Diligence! Uh, congratulations. I was wondering, why is the award a shield? And why is it broken? Oh, there's a reason. Uh, um, I'll tell you what it is later. Apparently he's forgotten. Was this hidden on the head? I was proud of Mr. Edward for winning that award. He's even got naysayers in the prosecutor's office. Yeah, we heard about the rumors. We can't show that thing, so show the knife. Okay, so it's just it's tied together. Got it. Do we have to click on the badger? We can't show him the freaking ID if he knows. What can you tell me about this? Oh, well, hey, pal, this is a detective's ID card. You can't just keep that, you have to turn it to police. It's people like you that get me so much trouble all the time. Meaning, think the guns you must drop his ID card a lot. Mm, let's see, Bruce Goodman. Goodman. Sounds familiar. Nah, my mistake. Well, that's useless. But don't you- Whoa, now I remember. Bruce Goodman, he's the victim. That's what I thought. Can you tell us more, Detective Gumshoe? Alrighty then. I think we finally got something to talk about. Whoa! What do we have here? We got like two options I did not realize. So, this victim ID card belongs to the victim. You know, it's a detective like myself. Detective Bruce Goodman. Hmm, don't you think 
strange? I mean, why would the big ID card be lying on the ground where we, we found it? Well, Detective Birdman should have been at the police department yesterday. There was an evidence transfer for a case that handled two years ago. Evidence transfer? Mr. Edgeworth mentioned it that too. But Detective Goodman was killed at the prosecutor's office. Well, that's the thing. It's hard to say this, but... Word is that Chief Prosecutor Scott called him out there to the parking lot. And Lana's confessing as much. Alright, rumors of the law. Here's a tough spot, again. Again? Well, it started with the murder of the defense attorney, Hamon. We proved it wasn't him. But Edward was found innocent. Listen, pal, there have always been rumors about Edward. Forging evidence, making news with witnesses. Nothing outright, but there were always whispered rumors. Ever since he was accused of murder, no one's whispering. They're practically shouting. But, but there's no evidence against him. Well, Mr. Edward has always had unusually strong ties to the department higher-ups. It's only natural that people would be suspicious. I had no idea he was under the gun. Anyway, this latest case has started a new rumor. People say the only reason he took this case is because he's aiming for the chief prosecutor's position himself. What? Well, I know the truth, pal. Nobody wants to be the one who wants to prosecute the chief prosecutor. Mr. Edward is buying the bullet on this one. He's doing this for all of us. Uh, what else am I supposed to do? We've, like, literally gone through every single detail that we can find as of right now. Because we went through every single detail, so... You might have to check to double check what we need to do on besides and selling that freaking badger that's like literally right there. Let's check out the badger, just in case. I was wondering about that. What? The that's like little badger? It's my masterpiece! You made this, Detective Gumshoe? I cherry threw together some designs and I just did my thing, pal. Nice work. Uh. It's battery powered so it can go anywhere. Anywhere? There's no switch so it can just dance, dance, dances until the battery dies. Poor Blue Badger. Faded to dance until he drops. Okay, added to the court record. Creepy looking. And that's all I know about that. I'm not officially on the case, you know. Thank you! Why aren't you handling this case, Detective Gumshoe? We met the guy who was... what was his name? The guy in the parking lot. Now be Officer Marshall. Oh, what the heck, I've been reading the text wrong. He was appointed directly by the Chief of Police. Officer Marshall, is he some kind of Wild West Sheriff or something? No, Jake Marshall's just a regular officer. From West LA. For a moment there, I wasn't sure. Looks, pal, look, pal, let me try to make things a little easier for you. Show them this, and then I'll let you examine the crime scene. Maybe. Uh, I feel like there's like a couple things more. But I need a little check. I'll be surprised if there's if it gets us anywhere. Just act like you're supposed to be there, and nobody will look at you twice, pal. Uh, let me double check on how much longer do we have until anything else. So, uh, hold up. Yeah, double check. Okay, apparently there's like two more things to do, so we're gonna end the episode right here. So anyway, make sure to hit that like button, comment, comments. If you're a new viewer, let me see, subscribe, and the show is like CB9.